Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to be starting my very first lipstick roulette. So I've never done one of these personally. I have done a lot of project panning and, you know, just kind of figuring out products that I like and don't like, but I have so many lipsticks. So after going through my makeup inventory and like my full collection inventory, I realized how many lipsticks I have and how many I'm not using. I pretty much tend to go to the exact same ones for work because I know they reapply well, I know they look good, I know they're not too bold because I do work at a hospital, I don't want to have too bold of a lip, and I know that they don't rub off, they don't smear, they look good. So I go to the same ones for that. And then for filming purposes, that's when I kind of you know, venture out and wear things that I wouldn't normally wear. And then when I'm just testing out new products, I typically end up going for something that I'm not sure about, but I kind of want to test out and see how I like it. So I figured a lipstick roulette would be perfect for me and my purposes for trying out lipsticks and seeing what I actually like, formulas that I can work with, ones that I can't, and you know, I need to stop purchasing from ones that I just don't like because yes, you should try different colors, but if you you really just don't like that style of product then why am I purchasing more from it like my liquid lipsticks I really don't wear them other than filming and when I'm wearing them when I'm filming I take them off right after so do I really need 63 liquid lipsticks and 90 bullet lipsticks and 53 ColourPop lipsticks no I don't and I have that many which is ridiculous and I literally haven't used up a lipstick product in months. That is my reasoning for doing this lipstick roulette. I actually got this idea from LS here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. She's amazing and she's got some great ideas for items but I'm going to do my lipstick roulette a little bit differently than she does hers. She picks out her products randomly for, I think it's like every two weeks she does hers, which is what I'm going to end up doing is every two weeks, I'm going to do an update on the items that I liked and the items that I didn't like, ones that I'm going to be decluttering and ones that I'm going to be keeping in my collection. And then I'm also going to be putting aside ones that I want to try again. So if I only got one time to try it out, I want to put it aside so I can try it again and see if it's one that I can work with or not. For me, because I work at a hospital and because I teach every Tuesday, I need colors that are in the neutral category, ones that I can work with for those shifts, and then be able to try out other ones when I'm not working. So I plan on having to choose and picking my own ones out. I do plan on going through every single lipstick that I have, but it might take me a little bit more than a year <laughs> to do it. So my goal is to try to go through the ones that are the oldest and the ones that I think I could probably use up this year and see if they are ones that, like I said, I can work with, I can use up, I can enjoy. And then I'm just gonna declutter ones that I know I'm never gonna wear. So in my big red bin here, I have all of my liquid lipsticks. I'm not sure if I literally have every single li liquid lipstick I own in here, but it's pretty darn close. So my plan is I even have sample sizes and mini sizes or deluxe size samples in here as well because I'm just not using liquid lipsticks. I'm just, I'm not. So my plan is every two weeks, I'm gonna pick out eight different products. I plan to pick out four liquid lipsticks at least, hopefully five, and then I plan on picking out three to four bullet lipsticks every single week. So that way I can get a good usage out of them, decide if I like them, decide if I can use it up, work on it, whatever, and then decide if I need to declutter it because I need to declutter most of these before they go bad so some of my friends can have them. Let's get into it. So the first item that I chose, and by the way, my first update for this is not gonna be until either the end of this month in February or the beginning of March because I am going to Daytona Beach for about 10 days. I'm just, there's no way I'm gonna be able to test out as many products as I want, but the first update, update is gonna be in a little while, a little bit longer than two weeks, but I figured that's okay. I'm gonna have more time to try out these products. So I'm gonna pick out ones that I'm really iffy about and ones that I want a little bit more time on that I know I'm gonna be, need a little bit more time on. So this is one of them. It is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Lady Balls, the one that I have on right now. So far, I'm loving it. I love this color. I have worn it one other time before and I remembered really enjoying the color but it definitely smudges off. So 
That's one thing that about a red that I don't want. I want it to stay completely in place, but it's very comfortable. I feel like it's a really good color on me. It makes my teeth look pretty white as long as they're not stained with lipstick, you know. But this is my first product for the month. And I also want to get somewhat of a different shade range. I have a lot of pinks and reds and nudes, especially a lot of like pinky nudes, but I want to get a little bit of a range. So this is going to be my red for this section. And then I have a Milani um, Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade 11 Precious. This one I'm not sure of completely. I will give you guys swatches of these as well, but I don't, I don't know. I have worn this one. I can't remember if I liked it or not. I've worn it enough where I can see a line of usage, but I just can't remember it. So that's going to be my second one. Then my third one is going to be the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Chili Chili. And this one looks like it's breaking apart a little bit. As long as they smell okay, the ColourPop ones, I have no problem like putting, you know, like mixing them up and making them look better in the tube. But as long as they don't stink, then I'm okay with using them because they are going to separate their liquid lipsticks. So I feel like they tend to separate anyways. Number four is going to be one that I know is getting old. And I mean, this is one of my very first liquid lipstick purchases. And it is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. I need to decide if this is too old to use. It smells okay. It smells exactly like it smelled when I purchased it. But I can tell it's definitely getting dry in the tube. So I need to decide if this one is one that's almost gone enough where I can declutter it and throw it away. Or if I can use it up. I mean, I can definitely see the sides of the tube in there. So I'm pretty sure it's probably almost gone. So I'm going to try to use that up if I can. Then one that I haven't used yet that I really want to try out is from Kat Von D. And this is a little mini sample size. And it is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ludwig. So I'm going to try this one out and see how I like it. This one smells fine as well. I'm not really sure about how these are supposed to smell, but they kind of smell like all the other liquid lipsticks, so I'm sure it's fine. So that is number five for right now. I'm going to go grab some bullet, lip bullet lipsticks that I want to try out, and I will be right back. Okay, so I ended up picking five more colors out of that drawer. I didn't realize I did have some more liquid lipsticks in there. So one last liquid lipstick I'm going to throw in there is the Revlon Colorstay Moisture Stain. And this is in the shade 020 Rio Rush. I remember this was also one of, this was my first drugstore liquid lipstick purchase. It's definitely, definitely getting old, but it doesn't smell bad at all. That's weird because it's like, it's definitely old. So I feel like this would be a really fun pinky color. I feel like this is more of a summer color, but I should find out if I like it before summer comes, you know? So I have six liquid lipsticks total to try out and use up. I picked out two ColourPop lippy sticks. The first one is in the shade Hype Girl. And I remember I liked this one, but I don't, I don't remember why or how much I wore it. I'm not really sure. And this one's definitely older in my collection. This was one of my first purchases. Um, not my very first purchase, but one of the earlier purchases that I had from ColourPop. And this is in the matte formula. And then my other ColourPop lippy stick that I chose is BFF, and this is the Glossy Formula. This was also one of my early on purchases. So I try, I'm gonna try to, yeah, this one smell, they smell so delicious. God, I love the color of Pablo P. Stick formula smell. Anyways, this is in the glossy formula, and I'm going to see if I like that one as well. I have two little bullet samples. One that I've got, this one that I got a long time ago, and this one that I just got. So this one is from Noya, and it is in the shade Smoke. It's just a bullet lipstick. It's just like a brown shade here. So I'm going to try this one out it has that covergirl smell to it i don't love the smell but it doesn't smell bad so i'm gonna try that one out and then this one is from fenty beauty this was a hundred point perk that i got from an order from sephora in january and it's a super dark color so i figured since i don't have one single very dark color like this that i would try this one out and this one is the mademoiselle plush matte lipstick formula and this is in the shade Griselda 
So I'm gonna try that one out as well. And I feel like this is a fair number of lipsticks to try out and review for you guys. And like I said, it's gonna be a little bit more than two weeks, probably gonna be about three, three and a half weeks. So I feel like this is a good number. Like I said, if I realize right away I don't like the product and I wanna get rid of it, then I will and I'll declutter it. I'll put it away so that, you know, if a girlfriend of mine can grab it and if she likes it, then she can have it. If the color's not right for me, I'm gonna get rid of it. If the smell goes bad, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm just, I'm ready to clear out some of these products in here because I just have too many and it's a little bit overwhelming every time I look in my drawers to grab something out. So these are gonna be the lipsticks I'm gonna be focusing on. If I try all these and I figure out what I like and what I don't like really quickly, I'm just gonna add a few more things in because I wanna get through as many of these lipsticks this year as I possibly can. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get through them all, but I really want to give a good solid effort at getting through them. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this intro video and I hope this will be helpful for you, especially with the swatches and putting them next to each other and kind of talking about some of the formulas and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And if you are doing a lipstick roulette, please link it down below or let me know your channel name down below. I'm really interested in seeing what other people are thinking about some of these same formulas that I'm trying. And like I said, LS is where I got this video idea from, so I will link her channel below. Go and check her out, let her know I sent you, and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye. Oh my God, this weather. I cannot stand this cold anymore.